Genesis, the third chapter. And when God the Father took the time to initiate such a thing as a marriage, then it's important. Now, the marriage is the most powerful tool on the face of the earth. And it was established by God. In the New Testament, he calls it the cornerstone of the church. That's how powerful a marriage is. Stephanie, you ready, honey? Okay. Well, I was yet to say I was born baby. <laughs> we are here today to stand before the Lord, family and friends, to make a proclamation and a declaration that Jesus Christ is Lord. They are joining together to dedicate their lives as husband and wife for the purpose and the glory of God. That's the only reason for marriage, is two people joining together to serve the Lord. Through that comes the riches. But they're here not by coincidence, than by divine intervention. Their marriage is to bring each other joy and to give the glory to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Adrian and Mark have both accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. In Matthew 19, 18, 19 and 20, it says, Whenever two or more on earth harmonize together, make a symphony together about whatever and anything and everything, they may ask, it will come to pass. It will be done for them in my Father in heaven. For whoever two or three are gathered, drawn together as followers into my name, there I am in the midst of them. Mark, you take Adriana to love as your wife, being in a sense as your own body. He who loves his, his own wife loves himself. For no man has ever hated his own flesh, but nourished it, carefully protected it, cherished her as Christ does the church. I do. Adriana, will you adapt yourself to your husband? And I know that's going to be hard to do. As a service unto the Lord, that you will respect and honor and prefer him and love him and admire him. The ring, of course, is made of precious metals and stone. And is a custom, they are custom made for both of you. In the biblical days, the ring was a symbol of authority. Did you know that? Yeah. It was worn by members of royalty in certain families and was used as a method of distributing authority to make decisions, contracts, and, and the precious metals that are used. The only problem with them is they're soft. Did you know that? Gold's a very soft metal. So what they do is they put an alloy in it. And so that is a symbol also because now with Jesus in your heart, the centermost part of your being, that's what is the alloy in this marriage. And that's sort of the symbolism here in the rings. So with Jesus as the ally in this marriage, the marriage will be invincible. Now, Mark, these are your vows, and as I promised you, I'm going to let you read them. I can read. Yes, you can. And you're going to need this. Okay. That's a lot of things to do at the same time. I well, I can hold it. Right. Okay. I won't shake like you do. Hi, <laughs> Mark. That's me. That's you. <laughs> Embrace you as my love, as my partner for the rest of my days. I vow to be your faithful and committed partner through all obstacles and temptation that may come our way. I promise to love you unconditionally in sickness and health, joy and sorrow, good times or bad, with all of my being. That's a lot. You, you hear what he's saying here? You better mean it or you're dead meat. To be there for you in times of triumphs and in times of failure. 
and to love you a little more each and every day. Oye mas que ayer. I will honor you, respect you, and cherish you with all, through all of our years and all that life will bring us. I give you my hand, my heart, and my love from this day forward as long as we both shall live. This is my soul and all. May I? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. How about me? Yeah. The Kodak moments? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody broke three more cameras. <laughs> 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 Mine don't die, I pay for it. I, Adriana, in the presence of God, family, and friends, thank you, Mark, to be my husband my partner in life, my one to love. I will cherish, cherish our union and love you more with each passing day. I will trust you and respect you, laugh with you and cry with you, always loving you faithfully. Through all good times and bad, regardless of the obstacles we may face together. I will give you my hand, my heart and my love from this day forward for as long as we both shall live. This is Miss Solemnpo. Can I kiss it right now? <laughs> Not yet. Which hand? Which hand? <laughs> 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 uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Kodak moment. <laughs> <laughs> now you're worth something. <laughs> For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother, and shall be united, firmly jointed, inseparable to his wife. That's what the scripture says. And the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Whatever, therefore, God has joined together, let no man put asunder and try to separate. Period. In conclusion, be strong in the Lord. Be empowered, empowered through your union with him. Draw your strength from him. That strength which his boundless might provides. As we now stand in the presence of both God and man, I now pronounce you man and wife. And yes, you may kiss the bride.